joining us in the studio still on the issue of the suspension of the national chairman of the APC. I have um, legal practitioner Sandra Eboro. Thank you very much for joining you, us. Sandra. We still have with us the chief press secretary to the governor of Oshun State, Ishmael Omi Pidon. Thank you very much. Pleasure, All right. Um, I quickly react to um, the, your colleague's position on this matter. Well, I mean, I, th I think I, I totally agree with um, what he has said. Because, you know, coming over to the Federal High Court's decision, Federal High Court's ruling as against the, um, the, um, federal, the State High Court's ruling, who, he who comes to equity must, co must first come with clean, clean hands. What Oshomule should have done was, first of all, obey the order of the State High Court. Then, before proceeding to, you know, take, do whatever he wanted to do, you know, appealing the decision. Of course, we all know that it was eventually going to go on appeal. Uh, before, you know, coming out to give the statement of the, you know, the changeover and all of that. So, Okay, I, I have uh, joining us uh, via telephone the People's Democratic Party. Okay, um, I'm told he's not on the phone yet, so I'll stay with um, your reactions. Let me come back to you um, on this matter. Um, what should be the way forward now? Well, um, the way forward is that already the case is in court, but uh, in spite of the fact that the case is in court, there's also what we call an out of court settlement. It is done in, uh, in uh, matters like this. I, I see the whole thing as uh, more as a family affair, and I believe very strongly that uh, the APC has the capacity uh, to resolve you know, whatever issue that they are as far as uh, you know, uh, this is concerned. If you ask me, I would have uh, suggested very strongly that uh, all party members should uh, subject themselves to the National Reconciliation Committee that has been set up, because you have not even allowed that committee to work. We should have allowed the committee to work. Let us see you know, the outcome before we can take uh, some of the steps we are taking. But it's not too late. We can still retrace our steps. All right, I'm told we have the PRO of the PDP um, in Edo State, Chris Nahikare, on the phone. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. What's your party's reaction to the news of Shamale's ouster by the court and then uh, a stay of um, execution? Well, um, if you've been following the politics in those states in the last 10 to 12 years, you will have heard that PDP has always complained about uh, the manner and the approach of uh, Comrade Shamale's uh, approaches issues of, of, of national or state matters. We are not surprised that uh, the, the battle going on in those states for the soul of APC is actually taking place. Because after Commodore Shomole lost executive powers as a governor, he tried to exercise it through a proxy. And of course, the, the proxy's uh, fighting back has led to this uh, uh, decision of them going to court and suspending themselves up and down. And now uh, the courts have decided that Oshomole should step aside while the case goes on. So our party is not surprised in as much as we don't like to get involved in the internal affairs, but we would like to tell them that they must at all times obey court decisions and stop uh, from shopping for courts that will work in such a way to give you favorable decisions and you choose which ones to obey. Okay. Has there been any impact of the APC quarrels on your party? Has there been any impact from this? The impact has been on the development of the state. Governance has been suspended and uh, there's actually nothing going on right now in those states as APC has turned their internal affairs into a sort of battle that has restricted, re uh, stopped the, uh, the development of the state. So as uh, a political party, we would like to remind all the people that at the appropriate time, the appropriate uh, punishment should be meted out to APC 
who out of arrogance has decided to suspend themselves, suspend the national chairman, suspend the governor, suspend the state governor, and at the same time, we are now in a state of suspended development. We would like all these things to stop so that our state's dividend of democracy should be given out to people of uh, the state. Okay, some have said that um, um, the comrades' uh, travels are, some of them are his faults. Uh, some are saying, no, it's just some uh, mechanization that don't, want, that don't understand his style of leadership. For your party, are there lessons from this whole shenanigans? Please, I, I'm sorry, I didn't get the question. Are there lessons from Oshimola's travels uh, for your party? Are they what? Are there any lessons your party is getting oh. from this whole oh, situation? Yeah, yeah. You, 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 I'm sure you recall that PDP has always been a disciplined party and we've always worked according to our constitution. The lesson is to all Edo people and all Nigerians that APC is actually a false contraption. They are disorganized and unorganized. So PDP has always been the party that has worked and behaved in such a manner that uh, the Nigerians trust the leadership of our party. The lesson is Nigerians should know that APC cannot be trusted, that uh, they work self-interest. And so this fight is actually personal and not really for the benefit of other people. Okay, um, how would you suggest the APC leadership handle this matter going forward? Well, for the sake of the development of our state, I think the, the both should come down to a round table. What we have done on PDP, we have offered them at many instances that we are prepared to call them to a table and settle whatever difference they have for the sake of the development of other people. But uh, out of arrogance, they refuse to actually see each other eye to eye. They refuse to heed our advice. And um, all we are interested in right now is for them to let them suspend their battle and face governance so that those people can benefit from uh, democracy. I want to thank you very much for your time with us on the phone this morning. Thank you very much. My pleasure. All right. Back to you in the studio. Um, your quick reaction to his comments. Well, uh, first, let me say that uh, it is not correct to say that uh, PDP has always obeyed, uh, you know, its uh, party constitution. Uh, in as much as uh, uh, the discussion is not about PDP, I want to say with all sense of responsibility that uh, whatever it is that is going on today, uh, PDP had uh, probably done worse. And, uh, but that is not to say that we should also permit what is happening don't get me wrong okay uh, i want to also commend him you know for saying that uh, they should come to the round table because you know, even in war even in war you still, you still end at the dialogue you know, a yes dialogue. so okay. i want to commend him for that and i, I support that uh, proposition Okay, um, we're out of time. Your, quick, your final thoughts on this. Okay, so um, if you ask me, I would say at present there are two conflicting rulings of courts, one from the state high courts and the other from the federal high courts. Oshomole as an individual would, you know, want to choose whichever ruling favors him. So talking about coming to a round table, the question we should ask ourselves is how do we solve the issue of conflicting um, rulings, yeah, conflicting rulings of court? Presently, um, the federal high court has said the, he should, you know, the suspension is option. The federal high court upturned the decision, the ruling of the state high court. Does the federal high court have powers to upturn the decision of a state high court? Shouldn't that be a decision of the court of appeal? Then you come to ask yourself um, again another question: That did the state high court inherently have jurisdiction to entertain the interlocutory action in the first place? Being the fact that it had, you know, federal institutions, the INEC was involved the DSS, the police, and all these are federal institutions which give powers to the federal high court to, you know, to, to take over. So, I mean, it is a delicate issue at this point, and I would say coming to a round table or going on appeal, the matter would, should be resolved 
So a lot, we expect a lot to happen yes, in the coming days. In the coming days, we should expect a lot of you know, news and you know, details flying around. All right. Thank you very much for coming on the program. Thank you. Thank you very much.